హలో అందరికీ నమస్తే వ్యర్ ఇన్ క్లాస్ టెన్త్ ఫస్ట్ లెసన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఇండియా రిలీఫ్ ఫీచర్స్ ఇండియా రిలీఫ్ ఫీచర్స్ ఇండియా రిలీఫ్ ఫీచర్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ ఫర్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ప్రతి కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్లో ఇది ఈ టాపిక్ చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ జిఎస్లో మనకి చాలా వరకు క్వశ్చన్స్ ఈ టాపిక్ నుంచి వస్తాయి so till now we have discussed about india india's location how india formed and geographical background how gondwana land and eurasia land how these both were eurasian plate and indo gangetic plains were collide we have discussed and we also discussed about the physical divisions of india or the important major relief divisions of india so in your 10th class questions or two mark questions or in mcqs they may be give to you find out which is not a major physical division of india or instead of physical division they may also give relief divisions so relief division physical division both are same as we know that india can be divided into six major physical divisions right so first one is the himalayas first one is the himalayas second one is the indo gangetic plain indo gangetic or gangetic plains then third one the peninsular plateau the peninsular plateau plateau fourth one the coastal plains the coastal plains fifth one the desert the desert sixth one the islands the islands while you are reading or while you are preparing so this is one important question whenever you are reading for your 10th class they may be give you what are the important physical divisions of india what are the important relief divisions of india so if they gave relief divisions same answers if they give physical divisions same answers so india divided into six major relief divisions or physical divisions they are the himalayas indo gangetic plains peninsular plateau coastal plains desert and island so today we are going to discuss or we are going to explain i am going to explain about the himalayas how himalayas were formed as you know that in our previous session we have discussed about how himalayas were formed okay as you know that whenever the both plates were collide indo australian plate indo australian plate and eurasian plate when this both plates were collide these himalayas were formed how himalayas were formed himalayas were formed due to the coalition of two plates okay two plates were collide what are the two plates this is one plate and uh, this is one plate these both plates are moving this side this is indo australian plate indo australian plate and this is eurasian plate these both plates were collide whenever these both plates were collide here you know fold mountains were formed dear students himalayas are youngest fold mountains these are recently formed these are still active these are still in the formation position okay so let's see what are himalayas and what are the importance of himalayas how many ranges are there in the himalayas yes let's see once himalayas hima in the meaning hima means cold or snow capped snow bound hima okay hima himamu in telugu also himamu means manchu let's see about himalayas see children himalayas are stretch from jammu kashmir they are from j and k to arunachal pradesh himalayas are running from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh so jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh what is the distance the distance is 2400 kilometers long 
so the length of the himalayas 2400 kilometers they are stretching or they are running from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh and what is the area of himalayas it is not given in our textbook area of himalayas is 5.95 lakh square kilometers lakh square kilometer huge area huge area occupied these himalayas were occupied 5.9595 lakhs square kilometer area and the width of the the width of the himalayas width the width of the himalayas are 500 kilometers to 200 kilometers somewhere the mountain width width means for example these are the these are the mountain ranges example here we have a mountain we have a mountain here okay whenever here the width is 500 kilometers this gap this gap is 500 kilometers this is less this is less this is less even this less even this less so whenever you are moving from the west to east whenever you are moving from west to east the width of the himalayan ranges were decrease and at the same time not only width but also you can see the height height also decreasing from the west to to east whenever we are moving from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh what did you observe what did you notice that point to notice that the width of the himalayas decreasing and at the same time height of the himalayas also decreasing whenever we are moving from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh so this is the important point which is not there but you can critically think about this and these himalayas also these himalayas also stretch are located between indus and brahmaputra river these are located between indus and brahmaputra river brahmaputra river areas so this is about the important points these are the important points the himalayas located from they are stretching from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh 2400 kilometers of length there is long and area is 5.95 lakh square kilometer width somewhere 500 kilometers somewhere 200 kilometers these are located between indus river and uh, brahmaputra river and mostly himalayas we can see altitudinal variations different different altitudinal variations altitudinal variations what is the meaning of altitudinal variation altitude means what height different different height just now i have shown to you height also it is different in different different areas and these himalayas can be divided into three important ranges or three parallel ranges parallel ranges himalayas consist of three parallel ranges three parallel ranges so what are the three parallel ranges let's we try to see at least one or two in this session so hope you understand this is a, this point is not there in our 10th class but important for the competitive examination those who are preparing for the competitive examination this is very important and one of the important point also i have mentioned that the height of the himalayas decreasing towards to east side the width of the himalayas also decreasing whenever we are going from west to east so that is the point now i wanted to locate the himalayan ranges himalayan ranges and i wanted to categorize these himalayan ranges with the help of one india's map so i will try to draw india map okay i am not a, an artist but i'll try to draw so this is a model map that we can say is that this is a model india map however it is okay himalayas are on arch we can also say is that himalayas are on arch so whenever you see from this side it look like an arch so himalayas are an arch like an arch okay himalayas are arch so these are the himalayan ranges three i said no these himalayas can be divided into three parallel ranges so first one is himadri first one is himadri this himadri also called as greater himalayas greater himalayas this is called as greater himalayas and second one is the middle one is called as himachal himachal so himachal is located between the two himachal located in the middle so it is also called as middle himalaya 
it is also called as middle himalaya it is also called as lower himalaya it is also called as lesser himalaya lower himalaya lesser himalaya okay next uh, third one the last one is shivalik last one it is called as shivalik shivalik is outer side so it is it is called as outer himalayas outer himalayas so these are the three important categories so now i wanted to show you the first one is the first one is this one is the top one is himadri and the middle one the i am marking with this one the middle one is this one is himachal himachal and the last one the outer one is shivalik also called as outer himalayas so these are the important ranges of himalayas as i mentioned this is jammu kashmir this area is what jammu kashmir this area is what arunachal pradesh so from arunachal jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh 2400 kilometers of long and here there is the indus river here one river indus and here river brahmaputra so this is indus river and this is brahmaputra river brahmaputra river so these are himalayas are located between the indus river and brahmaputra between the jammu kashmir and arunachal pradesh length is 2400 km long these are formed an arch an arch shape these are formed let's see the first one great himalayas greater himalayas are himadri i hope you understand with help of this map though i am not a good artist but i managed to draw india map properly to understand from you from your perspective let's see himadri see now himadri 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 also called as great himalayas in your 10th examination they may also mention you they may also ask you write about himadri write about himadri then what you what you are going to be write first point automatically you can able to write is himalaya also called as greater himalayas greater himalayas first one is greater himalayas very very important himadri also called as greater himalayas then average elevation average elevation elevation means what height the height of the himalayas height of the himalayas average elevation is 6100 meters 6100 meters mean sea level msl as we know that we measure we measure mountains or peaks from the msl mean sea level okay so average elevation of himadri is 6100 meters so 6100 meter means world's world's highest highest peaks world highest peaks are located in it located in it world highest can you name few world's highest peaks these are everest everest and k2 and kanchenjunga kanchenjunga are example example everest height what is everest height 88 48 meters k2 height 8611 meters kanchenjunga height 8598 meters 8 598 meters so world most highest peaks are located in himadri it's so world famous and it is composed it is covered with the snow it is covered with the snow and ice completely it is covered with the snow and ice and composed with granite rocks composed with the granite rocks granite granite rocks so in himadri we can find out granite rocks in competitive examination they may also ask you in the competitive examination they may ask you what kind of the stone is available in himadri that is granite rock and what else what are the important aspects of the himadri the important aspects the important uh, importance of this himadri is these are source of the rivers like ganga yamuna and indus and also brahmaputra these are himadri in himadri we can find out source of source of rivers himadri is source of rivers what kind of the rivers example indus okay example ganga okay example yamuna okay example 
Brahmaputra. Brahmaputra. These are source. These are originating. These are taking birth in Himalayas. And what else? And also, sir, why these rivers are originating? Why these rivers are flowing from Himalayas? Due to glaciers. Due to glaciers. What is mean by glacier? Glacier means moving of mass of ice is called as glacier. I repeat, moving of mass of ice is called as glacier. Because huge ice is accumulated. Very vast tracts of ice is accumulated in the Himadris. Himadri means I said it is snow capped completely ice. So whenever this ice is melting, this melting of this ice is creating, creating, created a source of river. Okay, so accumulation of ice, melting of ice created glaciers. These glaciers further, when glacier, glaciers, when they, these glaciers melt, melting, melting glaciers, melting glaciers after what? Rivers. Okay, so huge percentage of ice is accumulated in Himadris. So this is about the Himadri. I hope you understand very very well about Himadri. These are the important points of the Himadri. I repeat here Himadri is source of rivers. Why source of river? Why the way from where these rivers are coming? Because this Himadri is completely covered with the ice and snow. Whenever this ice and snow is melting, so whenever this melting, rivers are forming. These are like rivers like Indus, Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra are certain examples, even Satlesh. So many channels, so many small tributaries also originating in Himadri. This is about the Himadri. Next, I'll try to explain to you about the middle or lesser Himalayas. As I said, lesser Himalayas also called as middle Himalayas. Middle Himalayas also called as Himachal Himalayas. We have categorized categorized this Himalayas into three important parallel ranges. So first one is completed. Let's see the second one. As I mentioned, this is the first one. Right? This is the first one. And this is the second one. This is the second one. Next. Then after, this is the third one. Third one. Now we are going to learn about the blue line. This is this is blue one. This blue one, as I mentioned, no, this is this is Himachal. This is Himachal. It's very important, very, very, very important. Very important in the competitive examinations. Yeah. Once you see, whenever you observe these three lines, you understand that lesser Himalaya or middle Himalaya or Himachal Himalaya is between the two. What are these between? This topper one is greater Himalaya and this one is outer Himalaya and this one is lower Himalayas. So we can, we can, we can write that Himachal is located in the south of the Himadri. So I, am, I want to write as Himachal. Okay. Himachal. Right. So Himachal also known as Middle Himalaya. Right. Middle Himalaya or <coughs> Lesser Himalaya. Lesser Himalaya. This is the first point. They may ask you write about only Himachal. Then Himachal also known as Middle Himalaya or Lesser Himalayas. And it is what located south of Himadri. South located south of Himadri. Once you see this is Himadri. South of the Himadri. This is Himadri. So south of the Himadri what? Himachal. Okay. And it runs. Runs parallel to Himadri and Shivalik. Himadri and Shivalik. You see it is running along with the two. It is greater Himalayas and outer Himalayas. Our Himachal also, Himachal also running with the remaining two. Running with this both. So, runs parallel to Himadri and Shivalik. It is also going along with the Himadri and the Shivalik. Right? This is the important point. Next, what about the elevation? The elevation is elevation. The elevation is 3500 to 4500 meters elevation. So as I mentioned here, 
Mount Everest, this is 6100 meters. Himadri is 6100, not less than 6100. Remaining all are 6100 meters, highly high mountain peaks are there. But in the Himachal, in the Himachal, 3500 to 4500 meters elevated mountain peaks were there. Then what is the width? The width. The width, width is 60 to 80 kilometers. 60 to 80 kilometers. In the Himadri, the width is 500 to 200. 500 to 200 kilometers of the width. Wide mountain. One mountain is 60 to 80 kilometers. Uh, in uh, 60 to 80 kilometers in Himachal. But in Himadri, 500 to 200 kilometers of width in Himadri. So what did you understand? Height also decreased and uh, the width also decreased then what are the important ranges important ranges important ranges important ranges in the himachal in, in the himachal other important ranges also there one is pir panjal very very important it also may come it also may come in the mcqs multiple choice question answers or two mark question answers write the important ranges of the himachal then piripanjal ranges dhauladhar ranges dhauladhar dhauladhar ranges mahabharat ranges mahabharat ranges mussoori ranges nagthiba ranges nagthiba ranges dear students this new information is added last year. Previous topics, these everything, these important ranges were not available. Important ranges were not available. So only Pirpanjal they have mentioned and uh, Mahabharata ranges were mentioned. But Musori, Nagthiba, Dhawaladhar ranges were not at all added in the old textbook. This is according to the new syllabus. This is according to the new textbook printed in 2021 and 22. So we are discussing as per the changed textbook. Let's see about the Pir Panjal. So Pir Panjal is the one of the important range. Pir Panjal is one of the important range. Why it is important range? Because it is the southern most range in the Himachal. Southern most range in the Himachal. So I wanted to show you uh, which are the southern one, where actually these are located so that you may understand very clearly. Right? I am saying that Pir Panjal is the southern most. Pir Panjal is southern most southern most range southern most range and it is important range I said southern most yeah why it is southern most because K L Z P there are important ranges are there for example this is you consider as this is Kashmir this is Kashmir so this is Karakoram range this is this mountain this range is Karakoram range Karakoram Karakoram range and this is Ladakh range Ladakh Ladakh this is Ladakh range okay and uh, this is Jaskar range Jaskar this is what Jaskar range Jaskar Jaskar range and this one is this one is Pir Panjal range this one is Pir Panjal range in the competitive examination in the civil services like UPSC examination they asked you arrange the mountains from north to south or south to north so first is Karakoram, Ladakh, Jaskar, Piripanjal so Piripanjal is the southern one Karakoram is the northern one okay Piripanjal is the southern most so Piripanjal is the southern most range so that's what I'm saying Piripanjal is one of the important and Piripanjal is the southern most range in the Himachal yeah, in the Pirpanjal, in the Pirpanjal, we can find out Kashmir Valley. We can find out Kashmir Valley. You know, Kashmir, the Kashmir Valley is very famous. Okay, Pirpanjal is the southernmost. Pirpanjal is the longest range. In the Himachal, Pirpanjal is also one of the range. It is also southernmost and also longest. Southernmost as well as longest range. And Kashmir Valley located between Jaskar and Pirpanjal. Just now I said this is Jaskar, this is Pirpanjal. This is what? Jaskar. And this is what? Pirpanjal. This is what? Pirpanjal. So Kashmir Valley is located between the Jaskar range and the Pirpanjal range. So this is Kashmir Valley. So this blue color is what? 
कैश्मीर वेरी ब्यूटिफुल कैश्मीर वैली वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट कैश्मीर वैली वैली ऑफ कैश्मीर और कैश्मीर वैली लाइज बिटवीन जेस्कर एंड पिरपंजाल रेंजेस एंड एबो जेस्कर वॉट इज देयर लडाक एबो लडाक वॉट इज देयर कारकोरम रेंज इज देयर सो कैश्मीर वैली लोकेटेड बिटवीन द जेस्कर एंड पिरपंजाल दिस इज फॉर्टी किलोमीटर्स ब्रॉड दिस इज फॉर्टी किलोमीटर ब्रॉड This is 40 kilometers broad and 4,921 square kilometers area. What is Kashmir Valley? The Kashmir Valley uh, length was 40 kilometers. 40 kilometers broad, 40 kilometers wide, and it occupied 4,921 square kilometers area. 4,921 kilometers of area and the elevation. The elevation. The elevation of Kashmir is more than fifteen hundred, fifteen eighty-five meters. Fifteen hundred eighty-five meters means sea level. So, in the Middle Himalaya, which is important, the very beautiful Kashmir Valley, where it was located, it was located in the Jaskar and Piripanjal ranges between the Jaskar and the Piripanjal ranges. Not only that, Nagathiba and Mussoorie ranges also important. Nagthiba and Mussoorie range is also important. So till now we discussed about the Kashmir Valley, very very important. Forty kilometer broad, four thousand nine twenty one kilometer area. Elevation is fifteen eighty five. Fifteen sorry, fifteen eighty two not fifteen eighty five. Fifteen eighty five. Fifteen eighty five meters elevation. Let's discuss about the Mussoorie. Very famous Mussoorie. Mussoorie located in Uttarakhand. Okay, Mussoorie located in the Uttarakhand. It is famous for what? IAS college is there okay lal bahadur sastri national academy of administration if you wanted to become a collector yes you have to write civil services you have to clear your interview then you will be trained in mussoori very cool excellent extraordinary place to learn let's see about the mussoori okay where is mussoori 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 it is located in uttarakhand they may ask you where is mussoori mussoori is located in utk utk means uttarakhand mussoori also one of the important range nagathiba also one of the important range i said the mussoori elevated mussoori average elevation is 2000 2600 meters elevation 2000 2600 meters of elevation and this mussoori range is stretching from uh, where From southeast, from southeast to this is this is Mussoorie uh, Mussoorie range. This is Mussoorie range. So this Mussoorie range is from southeast. This is what southeast. It is stretching from southeast to northwest. Mussoorie ranges are stretched toward from southeast to northwest side. From from Lance down to Mussoorie, Lance down or Mussoorie to Lance down. Mussoorie to Lansdowne. So Mussoorie, Lansdowne, both are important places. Mussoorie to Lansdowne, one twenty kilometers. Okay, this range, this range length is one twenty kilometers. It is stretching from Mussoorie to Lansdowne. Mussoorie to Lansdowne from southeast to northwest. It is stretching, and in this Himachal. and in and in this himachal we can find out famous hill station famous resorts mostly in the summer rich people they go they enjoy their summer in the hill station nowadays middle class below middle class families also they are going for tourist spot so these are the tourist spots himachal is tourist spot but not himadri himadri is very dangerous okay but himachal is less hostile it is eco friendly friendly to the human beings and so that's what it is himachal became tourist hub and himachals are very famous for summer hill station majority of the tourists they visit himachal himachal capital city shimla uttarakhand capital city dehradun let's see what are the hill stations what are the hill stations hill stations also called as summer spots okay example nainital nainital mussoori nainital mussoori shimla okay ranikhet ranikhet chakrata 
रानीखेट चक्राडा अल्मोरा अल्मोरा डारजीलिंग Darjeeling. So this Darjeeling, this is located in the West Bengal. Darjeeling is located in West Bengal. Very very important. Darjeeling is located in West Bengal. Nainital, Mussoorie, Shimla, Ranikhet, Chakrata, Almora. These are in the west side. And the Darjeeling is completely east side. This is located in West Bengal. So these are the hill station. These not not only these. There are so many uh, Mussoorie, Manali, Manali also there. Kulu, Kulu, Manali. You can also write Kulu, Kulu, Manali, Manali, Kangra, Kangra. These are also certain example, right? So what are the hill stations? They may ask you, write the hill stations of Himalayas or write the hill stations of Himachal. Himachal hill stations are Nainital, Mussoorie, Shimla, Ranikhet, Chakrata, Almora, Darjeeling, Kulu, Manali, Kangra, even Dehradun also. Even Dehradun also summer hotspot recess it is uh, hill station and dear students I hope I cleared I explained briefly about Himachal or Middle Himalayas these are very hostile to women very friendly okay these are very important to the mankind because we are earning lot of money foreign exchange because of this tourism so this is about Himachal. Himachal or Middle Himalayas. The point to remember is important ranges and about Kashmir Valley which is located between the Jeskar and Piripanjal ranges. So that's it myself. If you like these classes, please share and subscribe. If any doubts, please write in a comment box. I'll get back to you. So that's it myself. Thank you. God bless you. Jai Hind.